What do you think? Are they just paying the market rate, Gemma? You, you, they're paying a bit less than the market rate if you compare it to the private sector. It's a huge salary. It's something I would aspire to. But you need the very, very best people in there because those councils are an absolute mess and managing them must be incredibly stressful and they are absolutely held to account and there's a lot of scrutiny. Well, then should we put them more? Because if we're below the market rate to well, get the best people, we what, need to hike What up the I've price. learned is looking into this is you do you think about councils, you think about your bins. Actually, there's about 800 things that they're responsible for. And what's so sad and the reason all these councils are going bankrupt and then you've got the Tories who are all going, oh, yeah, well, bosses getting paid too much. It's absolutely pathetic. In 2000, 11 the sector spending was 1.48 billion in 2021 379 million so it was Cameron and Osborne absolutely cut off like uh, the money coming from central government and what's happened therefore is councils are doing the mandatory stuff but all the stuff that was at their discretion playgrounds toilets, leisure centres, youth centres, museums, um, shore start centres, libraries gone right? So you've got towns that are in a real mess. Of course, I resent my bills going up because everything is going up, but they are, they're, they're in a mess. And it goes back to the usual thing, just oh. austerity, total false economy. I wasn't going, I wasn't expecting you to defend a council boss on 150. Well, I reckon they have probably got the biggest headache of their lives trying to stop these places from going under. What so, do you think, Nick? So, yes, it's a lot of money. Um, the Prime Minister earns 165,000. He's running the country. These council box bosses are running their own, basically their own businesses. They, yeah, but they, they're probably not going to be able to sell an autobiography for however many millions after they leave the post. Well, so I think well, that's where the Prime Ministers make it up. OK, but his current salary with, with, with his allowances, that, that's what it is. So that that's, acts as a barometer for what... Also, you know, he gets 125 grand for the rest of his life, old Sunak. When, 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 he, when he finishes, yes. Sorry. But there are yeah. pension payments in the councillors yeah. as well. So it, it's a lot of money. Um, there is an argument, that, look, in, in, there's 317 councils at the moment, OK? Over 3,000 councillors are earning over £100,000. Um, and 25% of those, roughly, a little more, more than that, are earning more than the Prime Minister. And the fact is that in five years, they reckon that 50% of our councils are going to be bankrupt. So that tells me we haven't got the right people running the show. OK, either they're not up for it, they haven't got the skill set, they've made appalling investments, they're not running the business model. They haven't model. got the funding. Hang about. No, no, no. They have got the funding. The funding has shifted. The funding used to be from central government. Now it's business rates, uh, it's council tax, or it's leisure centres, car parks, all those sort of things. They raise their own yeah, money. That, so that's Hang passing it on to us. No, but that's, that's the business model. That, that is their business model but now. But when people are so in a if, cost of living I mean, crisis, you can't keep whacking up parking and whacking up the council tax. And well, they no, that's that. their source of revenue. That, so they have a business model. They work out how much does it cost to run this? How much income am I going to generate? It's just running a business. But they still get 68% clearly... or they need from central government. Like, no, they're they just don't. a massive void. No, they don't void. get 68%. Where have you got that from? Well, I've read it today. No. What, they what? get the vast majority of their income is self-generated from their own council. There's a very small reliance on central government. So now. that's the okay, bit but that doesn't, doesn't work. It, doesn't it show then that the model itself doesn't work? If we have so many councils struggling and going into debt now, doesn't that show that actually it needs to be funded no, because, more by the government? No, I, I disagree with you because you've got at least 50% of the councils that are working. Well, and you've got, what, for example, what, one well, councillor... I'm not sure they're every, well, they're, every council's thriving. Look, I think every, every business is finding it really tough at the moment for, for all the reasons we know about. So we're, we're in a fairly unique area in, in our time. But at least 50% of the councils are run properly. You know, one lady from Hampshire, um, she was paid £614,000, which, which seems an inordinate amount of money for running a business. Yeah, that was ridiculous. But, but, that but was if she did an amazing, amazing job and that council is actually making profit, then good luck to her. There is an argument, paradoxically, for saying, actually, as you've touched upon, pay them more. They, we haven't got the right people running the councils. They haven't got the skill set. So pay them so more. Get, pay them more. Uh, that's my view. Wow. Uh, Sandra from Coventry, what do you think about that? We're going to pay them more to, in order to get better people to bring our councils out of the, the tough time they're having. Well, I'm appalled with our council in Coventry. I'm not at all a fan. I mean, we had a chief exec at one point. It was on nearly 240-odd thousand a year. He now has landed in Oxford somewhere. I mean, it, it's just they, they waste money. They, they waste loads of our money on fruitless objects and things. 
we don't get to talk to them, they don't speak to us, and at the end of the day, I would like councils to have an, an inspection like I was in school. We had Ofsted inspectors. I had nothing to sort of argue with them about. They came in to do a job, and I think the council should have similar. We should have a council, an inspector to inspect councils to see if they're running the show properly, not wasting money on fruitless objects and, and buying properties that are not worth a fig. And I think they should all be sorted out. Well and truly, my council tax has just gone up. Perhaps I think it was eleven pound a month. I'm a pensioner. Where am I going to get another extra eleven pound a month from when the government doesn't give it to us? This country is actually, I think, finished. We've got no proper government. I mean, Keir Starmer changes his mind like he changes his socks, and I think it's got to all be re-looked at, and we've got to have people... I mean, look at the surgeons that do yes, brilliant jobs. Awesome. They don't Sand get the money that some chief yes. exec gets for running a council and running it badly. Sandra, the, you, you brought up a lot of things there. It's not been the most positive call I've, uh, I've ever had, uh, but I understand your frustration. When you're talking about how much the council bosses are being paid, that seems to be the going market rate, and actually having spoken to the panel here, there's an argument to say that we're not paying them enough. We're paying them sort of below the market rate and what they could get in the private sector. So we're getting maybe the worst people. Maybe we need to get the best people. We need to take them out of the private sector and bring them back in so that we can get councils run properly. Would you support that? Job properly, I don't think people would argue. But when you don't get your bins emptied regularly and you're paying a price or a premium to, to pay council tax, uh, and then you'll get somebody that's sort of switching off and not doing the job properly. No, I'm sorry, I don't agree. They should Sandra, get paid for what they do. I, I, I appreciate your frustration wholeheartedly. You bring up an interesting concept here, a sort of offstead for councils. What do we think about that? I think they've got enough on their plate, to be quite honest. Just well, we wouldn't it, put it offstead, but we would give it to another governing there, body that look at councils and make sure that they're not fritting away the cash. And well, well they, they are, they are. I mean, if you look at if you look at Birmingham, for example, they were paying three hundred pound a day for one child to get a taxi to get a taxi ride because of certain disability. To a, to a place not many miles away and back. So it's very easy to spend money. There's huge waste, there's huge incompetence. If you look at the investments that these councils have made, they're clearly not, um, they don't have the skill set to make proper investments and they've lost fortunes and fortunes of taxpayers' money. And then, of course, they've got a huge hole and then they need to fill it. But it we're sort of talking about the same thing, which is that we used to get all the money for the councils from central government. Yep. They have stopped that now. Yep, and that is fundamentally when it's all gone wrong because the only way to recoup the money that they had is to pass it on to everybody that lives there. And that doesn't work. And they have had to pare back everything. So there are various councils talking about, for instance, if they get a, a call and they go, oh, my child's suicidal, it's like they're having to say, well, have they actually done anything about it yet? Whereas 10 years ago, they would be straight but, in there but, with but, support. But, you know, p people didn't want Westminster ruling uh, Birmingham and Manchester. They, they want to rule their own entities. And but that, it hasn't and, worked and, out like but that. But that's what they asked for and that's what they've got. And it's their job now to get the right people in to manage that business model. Yeah, but funding and ruling are different, right? So you could give yeah. money to councils exactly. in order for them to rule their own patch in the yeah, way that's most can. appropriate for you them. Can. Exactly. And, and maybe that's what the maybe, maybe the idea, like. Maybe the solution lies somewhere between the two. There's more yeah. government funding and you get more competent people running the councils. Because yeah. clearly some of them are working. There's, we know about 50% are working quite well. I mean, 50% are going to go bankrupt. Imagine being bankrupt. given the job of going, here you go, run that. You used to have that much money. Now you've got that much money. Everybody's upset and no one has got... Uh, uh, sorry? Isn't that what happened to Rishi Sunak? Wasn't he handed a similar sort of thing? Yeah, he was, and he's made it worse. Oh, and also, okay. excuse me. I was just, uh, I was just wondering whether I was going to get sympathy for Rishi there. After Chancellor of the Exchequer. <laughs> true, true. OK, you rest your case. Uh, let's go back to the calls then. Douglas from Edinburgh, what's your views on this? Do you think that these bosses are being paid too much or maybe not pay, um, paid enough? I think uh, they're all getting paid far too much. Uh, basic people are being left far behind. The wages that are being handed out to these people are ridiculous. It's the bonuses you've got to count as well. Mm. Uh, they're sucking the money out of the system. But what you need to remember is councils have had their money withdrawn from them over the last 14 years from the, the government. The rate support grant's been cut so badly. Council services have been absolutely hammered and people are left wondering where they're going to go next. Mm. You've just counted out the number of services that we've lost over recent years 
But now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty where the legislative power that councils have been put under to look after the elderly and the infirm is going to overwhelm them. And yeah. the, the current system isn't going to be worth a sook because it's not going to work. So, uh, Douglas, unfortunately, what needs to be done then? If, if we're not going to pay people to a, a, a sort of good rate to look after these councils, what are we going to do to make them viable? Well, I think a lot of what's gone wrong is that the, the government is insisting on spending a lot of money on unnecessary or overburdening the public with bills that are not actually producing goods for the public. We need to go back to a, a basic rate service. I'm all for having equality amongst everyone, but in recent years we've had uh, the, the, the male-female uh, who's who and what's what changing road signs for uh, languages. Oh, so you're, okay, Douglas, so you're, you're basically getting at inclusivities caused us to uh, not be able to fund the, the country properly, is that right? That's correct. It's, and it's a choice of government. They seem to be this, uh, um, and I'm, I just uh, can't believe that we're going down a road where councils used to be profitable services. Mm -hmm. They were very magnanimous. They opened up things. They spent money on the public. We, have pub we used to get public parks and things that were made by the council for the people. The councils are struggling with the, the legislative burden that's being put on them by the government mm. who find know where they're going with this and it's all about pushing everything out into the private purse. Yeah. And there's no return. The, the government is skint because they can't earn any money anymore from any of the nationalised industries that used to earn them fortunes. Okay. But it's all been <laughs> hived off to private companies and then taken out the country altogether. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I, I think uh, Gemma would agree with you on quite a lot of what you say. I don't know if you would agree with the inclusivity thing. We're spending too so much money changing I, I road signs. I think Douglas was saying that perhaps we're getting bogged down. We're talking about sort of culture war-y stuff and that stuff that's not as important as the nitty-gritty. <laughs> I think that's what he was talking okay. about. All right, Douglas, thank you very much for your call. We've also got some messages coming in. Stephen on Facebook says the idea that we need to pay commercial rates for council managers is bogus. Let them find a job in the private sector. Public sector is supported, is supposed to be uh, less well paid, but their pensions and job security are supposed to be better. Catherine on Facebook says it's not the pay that's wrong, it's the recruitment that needs closer inspection. So there we go, lots of, lots of comments there. We're going to move on now. After the break, France...